using the group and ungroup function in Embrilliant software. So I'm working on a project that includes the Samantha font by Rivermill, and I realized that this may be a good example to show when group and ungroup is useful. The reason is or that you use group is when you have multiple objects on your design page that you want to be able to select and move as one. For example, when I click on the word Lisa, it's all grouped together, even though in my object pane, the three different objects are listed. Now, the reason that there are three objects is because I wanted to use different um, fonts. For example, Rivermill has alternate set one and then the basic. So for the set one, and I don't want to choose that because I don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> um, that is this what this letter L is for my I and S I've used the basic. And then again, for the A, I wanted to stitch after the I and S. So it's a separate object, but I want them all to, when I did it originally, this is how it is in the upper left side. So I, the L was separate, the I, S, and then the A was separate. So the difference is that the one in the right hand lower is grouped. So I click on any part of it and the whole thing is selected. In order to group something, you click hold and drag your mouse in the, your design page, or you can select all the objects in your object pane. Now go to the file menu and nope, it's the edit menu, sorry, and choose group. You can also use the control G on your keyboard. This is the same on Mac or Windows. On Mac, it's Command G. On Windows, it's Control G, and that groups them together. Once you do that, now whenever you select anything in that group, the whole thing is going to be selected and you can move it around and rotate it and do whatever you want to that entire group. To ungroup anything, select the grouped item, go to the edit menu, and choose ungroup. And now when you click on your individual objects, they're separate. So that's the difference between group and ungroup. It only has to do with the design page. It really has nothing to do with anything in the object pane. Group allows you to select and move around. Ungroup allows you to have individual objects so that you can move them in the design page.